once again this is the ghetto free press and I want to let you listen to a humble giant attorney C.B. King he takes on cases that we can only thank him for personally he reminds me of his father C.B. King senior he was a giant among men let us listen to the Honorable C.B. King the attorney for the Johnson family as he prepared to come to highlight some of the things that I'm aware of that have been blocked much like the 31 jail deaths and why we can't get anybody in the state of Georgia to address to address why a little metro city like Valdosta are leading the state of Georgia and then when we request information under the Privacy Act and the Open Records Act well we don't get it but listen to our humble giant listen please so we have justice there will be no Often this is the case here in Lowndes County not only with the Sheriff's Department but with other agencies but we're gonna get back with you on that in a minute but can you imagine a 14 year old girl at Pine Grove Middle School being handcuffed tackled and charged with a felony for striking an educator then the educators came forth and stated for the record in writing that it never happened. Yet the charges was never dropped. The mother and father are in pain. They are suffering. They are from Miami. They came here believing that this would be a better place. And the mother told me today she's thinking about selling her home and moving back to Miami. Why is this? Why is this? And why is it that the leaders can't not, cannot even find a local television station that that mother and father can tell their story in terms of what happened to their child? They cannot find a radio station that will interview them so they could tell their stories. They cannot find the Valdosta Daily Times, our only newspaper. If they was in America, Georgia, America, a little town, got five newspapers. Valdosta only had one. And it is so conservative until they didn't even print a picture of the president's second win in the newspaper, let alone talk about front page coverage. So I joined the Honorable. C.B. King, a humble giant, in stating for the record, as Paul Harvey would say, the rest of the truthful story. Listen, please. Because of a claim that a investigation was ongoing and that under the law they were not required to reveal that information. 
It has now been approximately two weeks since the sheriff has announced that the investigation is closed. Therefore, there is no exception to the Open Records Act which should deny the family and the public the information that is contained in the investigative file. We believe that this information is essential in order for the family as well as the community to know the truth of what happened to Kendrick Johnson. So we have just met, or excuse me, we have just had a conversation and now they are asking the question what about the second autopsy how can we believe them how can we believe them are they credible what are their training <laughs> well this should not be seem strange to many of us all you have to do is check the annals of history just in Brooks County and Lyons County, there was something called the Week of Terror in May of 1918, wherein 15 to 25 blacks were murdered outright. Murdered outright. There was no autopsy performed at all on them that I know of. The governor of the state of Georgia at that time, he had a listing of the people that participated in those murders. Nothing has happened. Earl Evans, a black police officer, shot twice, I am told, and burned up in a police car. James Demps, behind Washington Funeral Home in, Bru in Quitman. Ah, oh, the list goes on and on. Reverend Barner told me about others. And when a young man was tased and killed or died in Quitman, they provided a list. It's all on kvci.blogspot.com. No justice. The Wootens and the Dimps were drowned in a pond. Nothing has been done about that. Got at Egerton at Magic 95 here in Valdosta, Lyons County. 31 jail deaths. Nothing has been done for the most part. From 1994 to 2009 and from 2009 to 2013, nobody in the state of Georgia, has, is, is, they're not even asking a question. Some of those was military veterans, military veterans, military veterans. There is something seriously wrong here. And can you imagine how the people at Moody Air Force Base must feel when they hear of a 15-year-old girl at Pine Grove Middle School being handcuffed. Oh, but that don't concern anybody because here again, this is the state of Georgia. <laughs> Listen, please. Uh, Attorney General Secretary, the indicated that we have just had a brief telephone conversation with the Attorney General Secretary who has indicated that she will be presenting to the Attorney General a copy of a letter that was faxed to him this morning requesting his assistance to enforce... Yes, I too need the assistance of the Attorney General of the state of Georgia. If I have been restricted, cannot go even to a simple football game. Where is the Georgia Attorney General on this issue? Where is the governor when a veteran is denied his basic rights? Or is it that the Dred Scott decision of 1857 are applicable, which says no black man have any rights that a white man had to respect, had to respect. So, should not they respect me after serving my nation and not put me and restrict me to the plantation or away from the plantation? as they did my forebears, without even any serving me any papers. There are nothing in the legal system anywhere in the state of Georgia against me. And yet, and yet, and yet, y'all had better wake up. Y'all had better wake up. The Open Records Act, even to the point of criminal prosecution if necessary, did you, uh, did you say it's, it's 
should bring in the question to every Georgian of at least average intelligence. If we have had 31 jail deaths from 1994 to, 20, to 2009, then at least we should ask questions. How many other people that have died in the jail and just maybe in the general community wherein the coroner was not called? Or maybe he was called two, three hours later, or maybe two days later. Are we going to investigate these? We got some serious problems. Listen, please. The National Action Network and National Action Network's youth moves believe that this is an injustice. And we will continue to fight for Kendrick Johnson and make sure that the city of Lowndes County and the city of Atlanta and all of Georgia is outraged. We understand that this is going to be a hard fight. But just like any case such as this, there is a lot worth fighting for. Justice will prevail. We will continue to post on Facebook, Instagram, and all of our social media sites. We'll continue to march for justice. And we're pushing, instead of pushing fear and instead of people being afraid, we're encouraging you to join our fight. Because this could have been you, this could have been your brother, this could have been your sister, this could have been your son or your daughter. And so we're asking you to take that into consideration. Because it, it, at the end of the day, it could be us next. And so please join us in our fight for Kendrick Johnson. And that's pretty much it. Thank you. And so the story goes, when you look out at these protest marches, when you look out into the fields, we find for the most part black women, 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 and students, students, students. The religious community, most of your pastors are not there. Unlike the earlier days in our history. So we had better wake up again, y'all. Once again. I want to thank Al Sharpton's group, NAN, National Action Network, Justice League United with Bobby Worthy, President CEO. We must thank those people who join with us in our greatest need and let the history books and our museums be filled with the words of the righteous. Not the ones who go to church and fall down on the floor and holler hallelujah, 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 but those who are really on the battlefield as Jesus and others who travel that real line of Holy Divine. Once again, this is America's Ghetto Free Press. KYRC, which means Know Your Rights Campaign. And you have a right to stand up for your children and coming generations of children. Be it known that we are not who we claim to be, but who we prove ourselves to be over a given period of time. Bye-bye. We come.